<laughs> hey what's going on guys welcome back to the money way and today in this video we're gonna be doing a recap on nio uh, i'm not really sure how you say the company's name i mean some people say neo nio nil i don't know guys uh let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think and how you guys say it but recently this stock has been absolutely performing i mean if you guys looking at, at the three month chart it it more than 5x in the past three months and in the past week it's gone up about 36 percent now I, sh I shouted out this stock i believe it was around a week ago and since then it has gone up a lot hopefully you guys got in and around bound here then it would have went up just about 50 percent in the past week i mean in just one week from a stock that i shout out about a week ago you guys would have gotten 50 percent now I'm sorry that I didn't shout it out when I was at about $6. I know you guys really liked that video, but I was really skeptical skeptical about this stock and I wasn't really in the com in the YouTube community, but since then this stock has been absolutely blowing up. So I just want to give some recent news about this stock and four things that could possibly happen to it and the company itself. So there are some things that I missed out about NIO. Well, it even has its own marketplace. I mean, it is just squeezing as much money as it can out of its customers. And honestly, it's looking really good. It's providing a bit of revenue so they can focus on their cars. I mean, look at this one. This looks like, I believe it was the entity from GTA 5. Like this looks like an absolute race car, which by the way, if you guys look at my other video, they actually have race cars. I mean, they have Formula E race cars that actually compete in real races so let's go on and let's get to the news and recently its vehicle delivery numbers have been absolutely booming i mean we saw this in the earnings report too that compared to what it's estimated you know deliveries estimated revenue its rest estimated earnings it um it basically surprised us a lot considering that nio is fairly new to this sort of thing and still has a lot to prove when compared to companies like tesla now i would really like to see nio move to the usa side of things as that would boost revenue a lot i mean people would be dying to buy these types of cars especially with the community behind it the services behind it and the first technology that provides battery swapping i mean you can just go to one of these stations you get a fresh battery and you can replace it and within three minutes you are out on the road with another i think it was either 300 or 500 miles of range i mean three minutes you can drive a, a thousand miles with just one battery swap. I mean, that is absolutely crazy. When, if you guys don't know that much about electrical uh, vehicles, it may not come as a surprise, but you have to charge them. But when compared to gasoline type vehicles, you don't really have to stop that much. But anyways, guys, I'm kind of getting sidetracked, but the next thing on the list is they got in a lot of investments in the in recent history. I mean, they have Tencent Holdings. It's a Chinese internet giant, but it boosted its stake in NIO to 15%. That means uh, millions, if not billions of dollars have just recently been invested in NIO. And also next on the list is they just secured a $1.5 billion credit with Chinese banks. This will provide them with more than enough money to get new employees, to get new designs on new cars, to produce enough inventory, maybe get a new manufacturing facility, or even more. I mean, there's a lot to come with NIO. They're a very innovative company, especially when you look at the different services, the different products, and the different vehicles and stages and different industries that they're trying to get into. I mean, I can't get over the fact that they have a racing car. Like, they're trying to capitalize so much on this industry and going into the racing community will show that they are really about speed, they're really about acceleration, they're really about the user experience. 
and absolutely competing with other vehicles on the road. But finally, the third thing is on, on this list is NIO is starting to move into more vehicles. We recently got news of NIO is starting to come out with new designs on more vehicles. Unfortunately, we actually haven't seen any of these um, maybe photos or any prototypes, but there is a lot of information and a lot of news that you guys can go ahead and do your own research on, but I'm just giving a basic you know, recap of some new news and some uh, a recap about the price, which in the past week, in the past month, in the past three months, in the past year, has absolutely been mobbing. Please, guys, if you guys haven't invested in this company yet, of course, this is just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Don't do anything I say. But do your own research on this company before investing. It is not really new of a company, but it's also not that experience or that old of a company when you compare it to, you know, maybe like Ford or like Honda or like Tesla. Those companies already have a huge market share. But another thing to look at is this is a U.S. traded stock. But it's not in the U.S. It's in China. It's a diff It's a totally different, you know, environment. A totally different scheme. I mean, there's a lot of different factors factors that you guys have to take into consideration before investing in this company. And please, guys, uh, if you like the content that I bring to the table, if you like my stock analysis, if you like the news that I'm giving out. You know, if you like the the ETF analysis that I've done in the past, well, go ahead and hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Just three buttons, and you will not miss a single video that I put out. And you can you know you can stay in the loop of things. You can stay with the stock market. You can stay on top of the news. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what you guys think about this stock and the company overall down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much and have a great week.